Welcome. Would you like to say your name? My name is Quinn. Course. Games design. Yeah. First year. Well. Now we're going to get on to the area. What are the yeah, must really. do's in Bournemouth area? What are the what? Must do. So if you have a friend that's coming must from London do's. to Bournemouth, what must you do? Number one is go to the beach. How could you come Bournemouth and not go to the beach? Have to go to the beach. Um, sometimes me and my friend like stroll. No, it's really bad. But stroll to the beach at night. Okay. It's bad. <laughs> what else? What are like some other things must do in Bournemouth? Um, go to Halo, but when there's a guest. Halo. So when, who have you seen in Halo that they brought down to Bournemouth? I've seen Tian Wayne, Notes, Young Tian Bugsy. I think that's about it for Halo. Okay. So, again, so anything else like must do? So, go Halo when there's someone go there. Halo. Beach. Beach. Um, Dylan's. Go to Dylan's. So, what is what is Dylan's? Dylan's is a bar that's inside the uni. And why do you suggest you must go to Dylan's? Go to Dylan's. The prices of the drinks are cheap. It's just a vibe. It's just a vibe. Like between one of your lectures, just go to Dylan's. It's a nice place to be while you're just waiting for your lecture. Yeah, lecture. and you can eat there as well. Okay. It's not just about the drinks. So obviously, you said you didn't go to sixth form and no. A levels. So, but you still came to university, implying yeah. that you chose it over an apprenticeship or going right into work. Yeah. Why did you choose university over okay. the other two options? So I'm a person that likes to do their research. And before, like, thinking of uni, I always, like, try to find apprenticeships for game design, but I couldn't really, like, find any apprenticeships for game design. All I was finding was media apprenticeships, digital media apprenticeships, like, no game design apprenticeships will come up. So I looked at how to get into the games industry and you can be self-taught or you could go to uni so I decided to go to uni so it was more of a choice of it was the kind of the only options for what you want to go down into you either teach yeah. yourself or go to university yeah hey so can we learn more about who Coco and Co is okay <laughs> so have you got like on YouTube Instagram Facebook or Snapchat how do we how do we find Coco and Co? How do we find Coco and Co? You can find Coco and Co by my YouTube. That's my YouTube name, Coco and Co. But it's spelled with a K. So all Cocos are spelled with a K. Mm -hmm. My Instagram, Koyan.o. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us more about who Coco and Co is? Who it is. It's my YouTube channel where I express myself. Um, I've made a few videos two are to do with like uni halts and one is to do with my makeup tutorial but I hope to release a few more videos well obviously continue to release videos but I want to like start talking about my course and what I do okay so now obviously we're on a uh, video chat obviously we can't be yeah university. so quarantine how are you holding Thanks up a lot, corona. Coro these corona um, times? Like, personally for you, how is it... Obviously, you're going to university. So how has it affected you and your education through corona? <sighs> I'm still at uni at the moment. Okay. Um, uh, I'm at my accommodation, Dorchester House. Um, how is it affecting me? How is it affecting you? I feel like online classes aren't the same as physical classes. So I feel like I should get a refund, not not gonna lie. Not gonna happen, I feel like, as well. Um it's affected me because like I don't really like normally when I'm going to my physical classes, I set an alarm, I, I get ready and everything, jump on the bus, go to my class, write down the notes, and I'm mm -hmm. engaged with my lectures. But with online classes, like there's so many different distractions, and I know it's like your frame of mind, but mm -hmm like physical classes are just better like you it's like oh 
I have to do this, I have to do that. Well, deciding you want to wake up in the morning is like, oh, am I going to do it or not? Okay, so yeah. it's just like there's no one like kind of push you to do as much as physical, would you say? Yeah. And um, yeah. so from obviously COVID going on, how has it affected your course? Dev, game design is something you can do like anywhere, I guess, as long as you have a laptop or a computer or the right software. So all our lectures are just like live classes, but you can like watch the videos in your own time and write up your notes. So you can kind of but work it's, from home. Yeah, it's but it has affected it has affected um my assignments okay. a bit. How? How um we were meant to have an assignment that was due on the twenty third of March, but it's got pushed back to April, and now they don't know whether um Corona is gonna be gone by April. So I don't know if like it's still submitted in April going to be submitted in April okay. plus uh, some students might not have the programs At home. for the assignment yeah okay. so obviously what have the university told you about isolating have you got to stay in your room have you got to, are you allowed to go out or how does that work um they informed us on do you mean my accommodation or the uni so let's say both both our accommodation has told us that if you're self-isolating, we have to let them know so that they can help, maybe bring us food or something. Um, our uni has told, I think they've told people that if you can go home, go home. So, so more of just if you go home now or just stay at home or stay in your accommodation. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's kind of the message they were sending. Okay, so this is kind of like a sum up of everything. This is all you. So like in this, people sometimes say some motivation. Sometimes they talk about their own thing, like subscribe to me, like my page, etc. So oh. this is all you. This is this is anything you want to say to kind of sum up everything we've been talking about. The floor is okay. yours. Okay. Okay. First thing I want to say is that if you have coronavirus please stay at home. <laughs> I know everyone's been saying stay at home, but you could actually be potentially saving someone's life if you stay at home. And we can get out of lockdown sooner than later. Also, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.